Hello people, welcome to this video. We are going to see how to improve photos and images with Adobe Photoshop CC. Check the index in video description to find what you are looking for. Don't forget to leave feedbacks to improve us. Let's suppose to have this picture to improve, which is taken on purpose in this way. We can distinguish different phases while improving a photo or an image. The first one is to rotate and crop it. These two are usually the first ones that must be made. Make sure to have unlocked the layer first. If so, just double click on it and convert it to a new layer. This will have your photo or image in. Then select such layer. In this way you will transform the image. You find anything going to edit and then to transform. However, you will basically use the rotate and the flip ones in this list. Choose Rotate and drag the edges to rotate the picture. You can drag its center to move it as well. Hold the shift down to set the most important inclinations. When you are done just click on OK above. Remember that you can delete a mistaken action pressing Ctrl and Z or going to edit undo anytime. Once setting the orientation you may want to cut what is not needed, so you need to crop the photo. For example we can select the photo with the quick selection tool and then we can cut and paste the image. Then we can simply delete the old layer using the trash button at the bottom and then going to edit, transform and then to scale to adapt the photo to the workspace. This is how you can enlarge a picture. Mind that enlarging a picture doesn't improve its quality at all. Indeed, if you enlarge a very small picture, this will come up totally blurry. Plus, the picture loses quality if you make it very small. If you make it small and you enlarge it again, you risk to lose all its previous quality. So mind to scale the image if you are really sure and if it's really necessary. Right not to lose quality, to crop the photo you use the crop tool in the tools bar. Drag the edges, you select the part of the photo to save and the parts not interested. All outside the highlighted area will be cut off. The crop tool doesn't scale the image, since it simply changes the size of the basic white workspace only. While in transform mode you can insert precise values through the control panel. Go to edit, transform and choose between flip horizontal and flip vertical. This is useful to remove the mirror effect, for example where you see words reversed on a photo or simply want to give a different point of view. At this point the fundamental parts are done, so just save a copy of this photo before retouching it. Just in case you totally mistake or you want to start all over. You can simply right click on the layer you have and go to duplicate layer. Now the following phases. Mind that the order doesn't count at all. We can adjust the image with two different approaches, applying the adjustments on the whole picture or on just a part, depending on how and what you need to correct. That's up to you. If you want to apply the effect on the whole image, simply select its layer. But if you want to apply it just on a part of it, you need to select such first and then you can add the effect. If you need help in selections, watch the beginner tutorial in this show. Even more, there are two ways to add the effects. The adjustments window adds effects separately. Each effect adds a new layer in your list, called the layer mask, that you can hide or delete anytime through the layers window. The layer mask decides the area where the effect must act and this will be applied on all the layers that are lower in position. Another way is using the camera raw filter. Go to filter and then to camera raw filter. The image shown is the whole layer or the selected part if you have any. 
This is right designed to adjust photos. However, this is different than using the adjustments window, since all the effects are applied all at once and permanently. Once you apply with OK, you can come back editing the effects done. You can just undo them to obtain the original photo. So just apply when you are really sure. Indeed, the camera row is the best in our case. Use the adjustments window in case you want to apply just single effects per time. Now the second phase. Let's adjust the lighter and the darker parts of the photo. Make sure to have selected the layer and then open the camera row filter. So we will start adding lightness and contrast to enhance the darkest and the lightest parts of the image to make their colors more uniform in intensity. Under the section basic, the first icon on the left, we can edit exposure, shadows and highlights of the photo through the second list. Click on the preview to check it better. You can zoom out holding all down. Hold the space down to move across the preview. Important is the histogram in the top right corner. This describes in full how the colors are distributed, such as main and the secondary colors. White means that the colors are overlapped. A color that goes more on the right is a color that is becoming more intense. The third phase is to sharpen the photo, especially if it's blurry. In the same section you can increase clarity. Otherwise, click on the third icon on top to open the details section. This is fully used to make the image less blurry, highlighting contrasts and edges in the way we like most. You may need to zoom in to see the effect. The fourth phase is to adjust the colors. This can be made in many ways. In basic section we can use the temperature and tint, or vibrance and saturation. Each of them adds or removes the colors in a different way. Simply observe how your preview looks like to pick the best effect and color. If this isn't enough and you want to add more intense colors, simply go to the fifth icon in the split toning section for the darkest parts or shadows and the lighter ones, so the highlights, you can add the color you like most. Saturation sets how much intense must be the color to add in. Hue sets which color. Balance simply sets how the first and the second saturation must communicate. Very useful is the red eye removal. If you have red eyes, simply click and drag an area that includes the whole eye. Photoshop will detect it, auto, and will correct it. At this point, you know all you need to adjust your photo properly. Once finishing, go to OK below. If you are not satisfied, simply undo and open the camera row again. In the adjustments window, you can find all the effects present in the camera row except the details section. You can try them too to see how they work. Very well, check the next video to know how to add professional photo effects to your image. Thanks for watching.